Hey, GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. And I hope you're not sick of these types of problems yet, but I just wanted to do a few of these because they freak out GED students so much. But here's the deal. Just because you see a word problem and some algebra does not mean the problem's going to be challenging. In fact, we're going to use just a little bit of common sense to puzzle this out. Let's give it a try. It says every summer Lynette who's a college student, saves up money working at a part-time job to live on during this school semester. Good for Lynette. Very nice. Still, we don't have any math yet. This summer, she saved $3,300. There's her total savings. You agree with me? That's what they just told me. That's how much she saved. Now, Miss Lynette knows that she's going to spend, that's important, circle that, spending $500 a month is a lot different than saving $500 a month. That word spends gives me some clue about what I'm going to do mathematically to that. So she knows that she spends about $500 per month of the school year. Which equation can be used to find the remaining balance? I want to find her remaining balance of her savings as the remaining balance of her savings, S, okay, what are they trying to tell me? They're trying to tell me that S stands for the remaining balance of her savings, M months after the end of summer. So we are using the letter M to abbreviate for months. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's think about this. We know how much this woman starts with. She starts with $3,300. Now be careful, this can mess with students because all of these equations have the 3,300 at the end. And it looks like they're plussing or minusing, and students get confused at this. But if you're starting with $3,300 $3, and you want to figure out if it should be plus or minus up here, you need to ask yourself, was this a positive balance in her account? Or was this money she owed that she didn't have? Was this money that was taken out of her account? Well, of course, the idea of, of her having $3,300 means she started with a positive balance of $3,300. So it's important that the sign in front of $3,300 is positive. So I'm just going to cross off these guys with the negative $3,300. I didn't minus that much out of my account. That's the positive balance that I have. Okay, so that leads us to A and C equations. Now, let's talk about the fact that she's spending $500 a month. She's spending. As she spends that $500, what happens to her account balance? Does it go up by $500 each month or does it go down? If it goes up, we would want to make sure that we had a positive $500 each month. But if her account goes down when she spends, we would want to make sure we have a negative. Well, as you know and I know, every time she spends $500, her account balance is going to go down. So that means she's actually going down. She's going negative $500 each month of the school year. So the correct answer here is A. She's going down $500 each month and she started with a positive $3,300 balance. And it might not be written in the order that you would think about it, uh, but it sure does make sense if you realize that the sign in front of a number determines what this particular number is doing to her bank account balance. This one is spending. This one was an increase of her balance. Great. Um, if you have any questions about this, oh, correct answer is A. Let's be clear. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my very best to answer it.